Hey team, my two minute conviction today is about winning the heart to convince the mind. A great mentor of mine who has invested the best parts of himself into me for over 25 years repeats this often. Win the heart and then try and convince the mind. And as leaders, this is true in every sphere of our life. So parenting our teenage children, uh, investing into our marriages, working on the sporting ground, and certainly in our workplaces. In our politics, we see it often. Uh, people missing the mark because they're so uh, intent on trying to debate the academics and the, the technicalities of their argument to convince the mind through logic and reasoning, when more often than not, you have to compel the heart first before you can win the mind. And so what does um, winning the heart really really mean? It, it's, it's this idea of um, having character first and relationship second, and making sure those two form a strong ally in the way you engage with the people around you. It's being authentic, it's showing sincerity, it's listening carefully and actively to the other people, it's being very uh, driven to try and meet the needs of others and to care about who they are and what they feel and what they're trying to achieve in their situation. If you can relate to people in a way that acknowledges them and makes them feel heard uh, and you, you, know, you, you, you are so determined to help them achieve their purposes, then you're winning their heart, you're winning their affection and it's a noble thing to invest into the life of another. If at that point you need to convince the mind around opinions or ideas or facts or opportunities, then you'll have a much stronger platform when you've first connected at the heart. It's not about manipulating, it's about making sure you are genuinely looking to invest into the life of those around you. And the only reason you would want to convince the mind is of course if you feel like you're acting in their best interests and bringing them information and helping them make decisions that are going to lead them to a better place. So as leaders we're looking to influence the people around us and my two minute conviction is win the heart first, win the heart and then you can look at trying to convince the mind. Have a great week.